Welcome to the National Association of Basketball Coaches Basketball Fundamentals video series featuring Coach Lon Kruger on ball handling. After a highly successful 18-year college head coaching career, Lon Kruger has taken his coaching talents to the NBA's Atlanta Hawks. Kruger's college teams were frequent postseason tournament participants, including his 1995 Final Four Florida squad. And now, here is Lon Kruger on ball handling. Welcome to this NABC Basketball Fundamentals Series. In this tape on ball handling, we'll look at the technique and fundamentals associated with passing, dribbling, and receiving. We'll also look at some drills to help you with your development in each of these areas. Having a good handle or soft hands means that a player has mastered many basic skills that allow him to control the ball easily and consistently. To do this requires developing a feel for the ball without having to watch it. This takes fingertip control with a finer sense of touch and you need strength in the wrists, arms, and shoulders to be strong with the basketball. For a young player to become as good a player as possible, he must get comfortable with the basketball in his hands. He must fully develop his ball handling skills. We've got Anthony here to demonstrate a few fundamental uh, drills, techniques. First of all, just uh, ball slaps. Again, getting the feel of the basketball in your hands. Uh, pounding that ball back and forth, uh, waist high, eye high, moving the ball up and down. As you get comfortable with that, then a little fingertip control, elbows bent. Again, ball high, moving the ball down to the chest, down to the waist, down to the knees. Again, just uh, fingertip control. A little variation of this drill is you want to extend the arms, a little uh, different drill, plus a little bit of a conditioner. You'll find after about 30 seconds of fatigue in your arms, the fatigue in your fingertips, all good for development of this skill. Now we'll take a look at body circles. Just again, uh, use your imagination when you're doing these drills. You can uh, create a little more difficulty, a little variation of any of the drills. Imagination is a good, uh, good teacher. Round both legs together, round it legs individually. Always a good idea to go both directions. For a right-hander, might be more comfortable going one direction than another. Make sure you always go the less comfortable direction, at least if not more time, uh, because that's what you need to work on more. Little figure eight drill. Good job, Anthony. Back and forth. Again, a very good idea to change direction. Anthony's doing an excellent job here. Head and eyes are up. I think uh, the young player is not bad to maybe watch the ball early, but quickly develop the ability to keep those head and eyes up because when you're playing, you've got to have your head and eyes up so you can see open teammates and see open uh, see defenders down the floor. Maravich drill. Outstanding. Both hands in front, both hands in back. Again, Anthony doing a great job of keeping his head and eyes up. Variation of this drill is one hand front, one hand back. Effective use of the dribble allows an offensive player to break down the defense, advance the ball, get a better passing angle, or perhaps even score. When dribbling, a player should keep the head up to see the whole floor, keep the ball low with knees bent, and use the fingers, not the palm, to control the basketball. Extend the off hand and arm to guard the ball from the defender and to continue the dribble until prepared to pass or shoot. Fundamentals of the game of basketball is dribbling. Everyone likes to dribble a basketball. You must be able to dribble a basketball to play. Kyle here is going to demonstrate some good dribbling technique. Again, starting with a good basketball position, feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, knees bent. Kyle's got good fingertip control of the basketball, head and eyes up. Instinctively, he puts that off hand up to guard the ball, protect the ball from the defender. Again, very important to work the off hand, the left hand as much as the right hand if you're a right-hander. You've got to be able to be comfortable going both right and left. Head and eyes up. Very important to see the entire floor, not only your teammates, but also the defender. All right, let's call uh, Anthony in here, the defender now. Kyle will demonstrate a few opportunities, ways to change directions. First of all, using a crossover dribble. Starting to his right, pulls the ball back, protects the ball, beats the defender going to his left. And again, if he goes right once, practice going left the next time, crossover going to the right. One more time here, crossover dribble. 
Well, very important to keep the ball low when you cross it in front of you. The defender is, is close enough to get a hand on the ball if you bring the dribble up too high. One more time, Kyle. All right. Now let's use the uh, change direction between the legs. This uh, action protects the ball a little bit because the ball is not as exposed to the defender. A little bit better protection. Ball full back. Again, go right one time. Very important to go left the next time. All right, good. Maybe a little bit more conservative way to change directions, the reverse pivot. Start uh, one way, keeping the ball, the body between the ball and the defender. Again, now going left. Very good job of pulling the ball back and protecting the ball from the defender. Now behind the back. Again, behind the back, as opposed to reverse pivot, you're able to keep your head and eyes up and see the entire floor all the time. In the reverse pivot, you turn your back to the teammates for a brief moment. Very good job. All right, let's conclude this with a hesitation, a stop and go, a step back dribble, and beat him in the same direction. That's it, good. If you can start and stop and get that defender's weight forward, now you can attack him as he's a little bit off balance. Good, good. This, of course, if you're down in a shooting area, not a bad drill to, to drive that defender off, pull back, and you've got a shot. So there's a few uh, looks at different ways to change directions and beat your defender off the dribble. You'd be surprised a few minutes every day will really improve your dribbling ability. Very effective uh, move for an offensive player is the jump stop. When you come to a legal jump stop at the end of the dribble, the offensive player can pivot off of either foot and also has good balance from which to make a pass or go ahead and shoot the ball. Let's take a look at some individual dribbling drills. Starting with a good basketball position, Kyle's gonna handle the ball, just kind of play with it a little bit, get it comfortable. Uh, again, feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, knees bent. Head and eyes up. Again, as a younger player, don't be concerned if you need to look at the basketball for a while, but uh, quickly you'll develop the ability to keep those head and eyes up so you can see the entire floor. Progress into a figure eight. Again, going both directions. Really put pressure on yourself to uh, go in the direction that's less comfortable. This makes you develop uh, the ability to use the off hand as well as the good hand. Now let's isolate uh, one hand, go around, uh, that's it. Again, just a uh, little drill to make you develop a better command of the basketball. And all these drills, you can use your imagination to uh, create your own drills. Anything uh, handling a basketball, dribbling a basketball is good. Now let's go with the left hand. Very good job. Now let's look at uh, the spider drill, kind of a fun drill. Makes it develop a little hand-eye coordination. What you do here is you tap the ball two times in front and two times in back. Just continues, left, right, left, right. Very good job. Now let's walk, forward, back. Again, just command of the basketball between the leg dribble. Don't have to be in a big hurry. Good job. Very good job keeping head and eyes up. That's terrific. That's a look at some individual drills. Now let's take a look at some team dribbling drills. Go. The command drill Stop. teaches players to control the dribble Change. while moving and changing hands. Back. Stop. Change. Change. Hold. It allows you to Stop. involve a number of players at one time. Change. All the way back. All right. All right. Line up players on the baseline, each with the ball, and give them commands to move forward and back and to change hands with a crossover between the legs or behind the back dribble. Starting from a stationary dribble, you move the players with a forward command. Then have them change hands, step back, or move forward again, all while staying low, keeping their head up, and protecting the ball with their off arm. This drill is a good conditioner when run repeatedly or for a long duration. All the way back. All the 
way. Land. Out of the way. Good. Bull in the ring is an excellent drill to uh, work on command of the basketball. Have to keep their head and eyes up. That ball's out of the circle, so you got two more guys in. They keep their head and eyes up, each trying to knock the other ball away while protecting their own. Again, requires uh, good command of the basketball and uh, good control. Also, again, a good conditioner because uh, fatigue becomes a factor. Being strong with the basketball, being a little bit physical with the basketball, not assuming you're getting fouled, but playing through some light contact. Passing is an essential skill for moving the ball and getting it in the best position to score. Keys to effective passing are, sight your target, know where your teammates and defenders are, and don't telegraph the pass. You should always step toward the target and release the ball with the fingertips. You need to pass away from the defenders into a spot where your teammate can control and do something with the basketball, and use pass fakes to get the defense out of position and to create a clear passing lane. To be a good player, you've got to be able to work with, with teammates and be a good passer. Let's take a look at uh, the two-handed chest pass, the two-handed overhead pass, the uh, bounce pass to feed the post, and also the baseball pass that would trigger an outlet uh, leading to a fast break. We've got Kyle and Antoine here, going to be demonstrators for us. Uh, the, first of all, the two-handed chest pass. Uh, anytime you're on a basketball court, it's good to be in a good basketball position. That is, feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, knees bent, head and eyes up. The two-handed chest pass, we're going to concentrate on the hand on either side of the basketball. Again, a good basketball position, head and eyes on the target, thumbs down, palms out in the passing motion. Step to pass, step to receive. So as Kyle and, and Antoine pass the ball back and forth, notice uh, the ball being chest to chest. Very good to keep the ball on one plane. Very good to have a specific target. Again, step into pass and also step into catch. If Antoine does not step to catch, the defender right here can get a hand on the ball. Now notice as Kyle passes the ball to Antoine, if he steps to receive, now the defender is not in as good a position to get a deflection. So very important again to step to pass and also step to receive. Thumbs down, palms out. Again, same plane, much easier pass to catch, okay? Now let's take a look at a bounce pass used oftentimes to feed the post. Important to give a target as a receiver and then to step and pass around the defender. Not bad anytime you're passing the ball to have an idea of, of faking, fake the defender out. Good, excellent job, Antoine, using that left hand. Again, as in the individual ball handling skills, very important to work on the left hand if you're a right-hander or the right hand if you're a left-hander. Got to work on using both hands equally well. Good job, stepping around the defender, ball fakes. Good, sharp, crisp pass in there. Step to pass, step to catch. Excellent. All right, good. Now let's take a look at the two-hand overhead pass. Again, on this pass, uh, forehead to forehead, not so concerned about uh, the spin on the basketball as much as the quick preparation and getting the ball delivered quickly to your target so the defender doesn't have a chance to get his hand in there. Guys are doing a good job of ball faking. Anytime you pass the ball, it's good to fake, to put the defender on his heels, give you a better chance of completing the pass. Again, very important to keep the ball forward. Okay, if Antoine were to bring the ball back behind his head, then the defender, even a smaller guy, can get his hand on the ball and, and deflect it from behind. So very important to keep the ball forward, chest to chest. Again, on the same plane, step to pass, step to catch. All right, now let's take a look at the baseball pass. This pass oftentimes used to, uh, as an outlet pass to trigger a fast break. Very important to keep it compact. You don't want a wide, long motion so the defender can get a hand on it. So Antoine's got it, two hands right to the ear. Step to pass, step to catch. Antoine being a right-hander, stepping with the, just like throwing a baseball. Kyle being a left-hander, stepping with the other foot. Good, very good job of preparation of the ball. Both hands right to the ear, both hands on as long as possible. Step and complete it. Again, just like throwing a baseball. A couple more times. That's it, step to pass, step to catch. Outstanding job. That's a look at a few uh, fundamentals related with uh, passing the basketball. Again, if you're a good passer, you got a much better chance to play and contribute to your basketball team.
you're in a gym by yourself, you can also work on uh, your skill development relative to passing. Here, Justin's making a two-hand chest pass off of the top back. You could just as easily use a wall. But again, you don't always have to have a partner to work on your skill development. Justin here is doing the chest pass, and now moves it to an overhead pass. A little ball fake prior to making the pass. Again, good concentration on precise target, good sharp mechanics, good technique. All right, good job, Justin. The rapid fire passing drill is a fun opportunity to work on your passing fundamentals. Justin's doing a good job here with the two-handed chest pass. This drill also requires uh, teamwork. One guy's uh, passing and receiving almost at the same time. Teammates got to do a good job of timing up their return pass to the guy that's it. Good job of concentration, good job of focus. This two-on-one passing drill does a good job of simulating a live game situation, especially a situation where the wing is feeding the post. The receiver does a good job of giving the guy with the ball a target, stepping to meet the pass. The guy with the, with the ball has to do a good job of uh, ball faking and throwing around the hands of the defensive player. Also does a good job of allowing the defensive guy to trace the ball and try to get some deflection. All right, let's have new defense. Rotate out. Good job. Also obviously becomes a little bit of a conditioner if you do it over an extended period of time. Good job of uh, ball faking, going around the defensive guy's hands. Receiver give a target, step to meet the pass. All right, good job. Taking a look here at the uh, fundamentals of the chest pass, uh, incorporating a little bit of movement. Again, thumbs down, palms out. Good accurate uh, pass, chest to chest. Good rotation of the basketball. Here they're shuffling their feet. They're not crossing. Just concentrating on technique, not being in a big hurry. Concentrating on making good accurate passes. Then now we'll uh, move into running. Instead of shuffling, you're running. Again, incorporating the uh, basic fundamental of making good passes into movement. Basketball requires an up and down movement. Here, just uh, thumbs down, palms out. Good fundamentals last time. Good job. This three-line uh, half-court drill is a, is a good drill to uh, incorporate the passing fundamentals and also requires a little teamwork. You know, pass and go behind is a figure eight drill. Also the opportunity to make uh, the layup. You got the two-hand overhead pass as an outlet pass. And again, uh, a uh, good opportunity to require the communication and teamwork of the players. All right, good job. The three line weave can be also done on the full court, full court figure eight drill. Again, uh, incorporating the passing fundamentals, a little teamwork, and finishing with uh, the layup. Good job of maintaining uh, spacing, good snap, good overhead outlet pass, working on a good fundamental two-hand chest pass. One more time, good. Okay, Antoine. Very good. Stay wide, stay wide. Go to the outlet spot. Good outlet pass, Antoine. Fill it, Antoine, fill it. Out of the way. Go behind, Justin. Come on, Pat. Good, that's good. This five-man weave uh, passing drill is a good uh, close order passing drill. Good opportunity to work on uh, the chest pass and also uh, teamwork. Finishing with the layup on each end. 
also can become a little bit of a conditioner late in practice. Very good job, staying wide, good spacing. Let it flow, that's outstanding. Good, pass and go behind two, touch the sideline. That's a very good job, good job. Passing technique is important, but also important is what the passer does after getting the ball to a teammate. The one thing the passer must not do is to pass and stand after making the pass. The passer must pass and cut to the basket, pass and pick away from the ball, or pass and pick on the ball. We're going to take a look here at uh, the three things that you can do after passing the basketball. Pass and cut to the goal, pass and pick away, or pass and pick on the ball. First of all, we'll take a look at a give and go type situation where you pass to the wing and cut to the basket. Good job, set your man up, cut to the goal, V cut from the weak side, catch it, sweep it through, triple threat position, pass to the wing, cut to the goal, try to get it back, weak side wing balances the floor. Very good basic basketball movement. Good, strong catch, sweep it through, triple threat position, head and eyes up all the time. Good V cut to catch. Very good, Antoine. Passing the ball to the outside hand, away from the defense. All right, now let's pick it up a little bit. Live action, give and go here. Pass, cut, try to get it back. Set your man up, Antoine. That's it, Anthony. Set your man up, set him up, set him up. Good. That's it, strong with the basketball, head and eyes up. All right, good, that's good. Hold the ball right there, Kyle, very good. And now let's take a look at pass and pick away. Okay, it's very good movement, very good activity. Again, concentrating on passing the ball to the outside hand, away from the defense, catch the ball strong, triple threat position, head and eyes up all the time. So now let's pass and pick away. Pass the wing, wait on the pick, come to the top, catch it strong, good. Either wing, pass, pick away. Wait on it, Antoine, good. Catch, strong, rip it through, pass, pick away. Very good, Kyle, catch it, see the floor. Pass, pick away. Good, okay, let's hold it right there. Very important to, to move because we don't want to pass and stand. If we pass the ball to the wing, if Anthony hits there and stands, that allows his defensive man to stand in the way, okay? Not only takes him out of the play, but also makes it tougher on him to move because you got two defensive guys looking at you. So that's why we're talking about passing and standing. Okay, let's pick it up here a little bit, pass and pick away. There we go, pass, pick on it. That's it. Pass either way, pick on the ball. Very good job. Guy with the ball has to wait on the pick. Wait on it, Anthony. Very good. Off the inside dribble. Good spacing, good floor balance. Pass, pick on the ball. It pass, pick on the ball. All right, let's pick it up here a little bit. Pass and pick on it, wait on it, Kyle. Very good. Strong with the ball. All right, one last time, that's good right there, that's good. Again, three things you can do uh, after you pass the basketball, cut to the goal in a give and go situation, pass and pick away, or pass and pick on the ball. Remember, you don't want to pass and stand because no one wants to play with you if you do that. Teammates who receive passes that are thrown also have responsibilities and techniques to execute. Receivers must provide a good angle and a good target, must come to meet the basketball, must keep an eye on the ball, both hands ready to catch, must use a jump stop to get good control, must turn and face to get into a good triple threat position. Very important when you catch the basketball to get into a triple threat position. This puts the pressure on the defensive player. Offensive player then can pass it, can shoot it, or can drive and pass. Let's talk now about a fundamental thought as a receiver. It's very important to get open in a timely way. It does no good to get open if your teammate's not ready to pass you the basketball. Just talking about a simple jab step or V cut to get open on the wing. It's very important to get open when your teammate is ready to pass you the basketball. It does no good to get open if your teammate's not ready to pass you the basketball. So in a timely way, Anthony's gonna walk his man in, jab step, show a target, catch the ball strong with two hands, and then be aggressive in sweeping the ball through and putting the defender on his heel. Very good job. Again, same thing. Walk your man in, jab step, show a target, catch it strong, sweep it through very strong. Ball fake, good, good. Put that defender on his heel. 
Take a look now, if, uh, if Anthony were to catch the basketball and not pivot strong, that allows the defender to get up there and apply a lot more pressure. So that's why it's important to sweep the ball through, ball fake, jab, get that defender on his heels. Again, now in a triple threat position, especially catching the ball there, you're in position to pass it, dribble, or even shoot it, okay? One more time. Very good. Excellent. All right, now if the defender gets committed to maybe taking that pass away, you can complement getting open on the wing with a backdoor cut. So the same thing happens. The defender now is going to overplay, going to step and back cut, catch, and lay it in. Okay, again, take a look at the similar type action. Defender gets up in an overplay position, going to step, back cut, lay it in. Again, very important as a receiver on the basketball court to work hard using a jab step V cut to get open in a timely way to be available as a receiver. Four on O is an excellent drill because it incorporates many of the basketball fundamentals that we've talked about earlier. It makes the guy do a good job in recognizing uh, spacing, floor balance, passing the ball with the outside hand away from the defensive man, passing the ball and moving. We don't want to pass and stand. Again, the continuous movement uh, really puts an emphasis on working together uh, as you'd have to do in a live situation. Good job of uh, setting their men up, timely V cuts. Again, strong triple threat position when you receive the basketball. All things that you have to do to be good players and contribute to your basketball team. Anthony and Antoine here are incorporating uh, a lot of various uh, basketball skills in a two-on-O situation. Anthony taking the ball and driving the ball at a gap, enticing the defender to help. Antoine fanning to uh, get open for a jumper. Again, making them play uh, off the basketball as well as with the basketball, simulating a live game situation. Good job of pump faking, jabbing, driving the ball at gap. Very good job. Now let's return the pass, okay? Same thing, simulating a live game situation. Two on O. Very good job. Anthony does a real good job of fanning and, and creating uh, that space and maintaining the space, good spacing on the floor. Drive the ball to the gap, pump fake, drive the ball back. Very good job. Again, a situation here where you're making uh, the player simulate Live game conditions. One more time here. Drive the ball at a gap. Good pump fake. Right back. Very good job. Two on two is a great drill. Uh, you get the opportunity to practice a lot of different things. Uh, most importantly, working on uh, driving the ball at gaps. Teammates sliding, moving, making himself available. Again, drawing his defender. Uh, creating an easy opportunity for a teammate. Always important to, to think about making shots for teammates. Again, drive and kick, offensive teammate, sliding, feet and hands ready, step up, knock down, and wide open jump. Another 2 on 0 situation with the wing post. Again, incorporating a lot of basketball skills, making the player simulate live game conditions. Anthony doing a good job of ball faking, feeding the post. Shapes up for a return pass. Very important when you feed the post to move. If you stand, it's very easy for the defender to guard you. If you move, the defender turns his attention to the post, and oftentimes you free yourself up for a return pass and an open perimeter jumper. Good job. Good. Now let's take a look at refeeding the post. Again, the same action, making the player simulate. Now the perimeter jumper is taken away. Refeed the post for a post move. A good opportunity for the players to work uh, not only on feeding the post, receiving the pass in the post, but also to get in some jump shots. Very good post move. Excellent job. This two-on-two -two drill again is the progression of the two-on-O, working on.